right. Uh, so thank you, everybody, both in the room and online in the world, uh, for uh, joining us for the third day of the CMS Open Data Workshop. Open Data is an effort to release the collisions data coming out from the CMS detector. Um, CMS is one of the largest detectors in, uh, at the LHC at CERN, and uh, there is a group at CMS in charge of uh, data preservation and open data. The CMS uh, data preservation and open access effort is focused on two different things. Data preservation, which could mean solely for the CMS scientists themselves, but there's also the open access, in which we try to make the data available to anybody who wants it. We release data that we have taken with the detector right behind me, and these are real collision data. And, but we also release uh, simulations. We, we try to simulate the collisions of, uh, of protons and um, we also simulate how the detector would react to these collisions in order to understand and compare our current knowledge with the possible new discoveries. The data is hosted on the CERN Open Data Portal which hosts data from all the experiments at the LHC uh, as well as some of the non-LHC experiments. By far, the majority of the data is coming out of the CMS experiment. Uh, CMS committed to this effort uh, fairly early uh, in the process and now has developed the skills and the infrastructure and uh, the expertise. We get the support from many countries and many people from around the world. And by releasing this data and making it public, we feel like we are also giving something back to the community and at the same time, we can benefit from that interaction. Uh, for instance, um, in order to find new tools, new computing tools that we can use, uh, that interaction is beneficial, mutually beneficial. The main goal of this workshop is to teach people how to pull down the data and start to do a full analysis on their own. We will give them the tools and we hope they will bring the new ideas that will benefit the entire community. This has been the third time that we have organized this workshop. It's the first time that we do it at CERN. Um, we have chosen the hybrid format. So over the course of four days, we had about 40 people uh, participating both in person and online. The majority of the people were online and were from Asia and Europe and North America and South America across all different time zones. And I'm so impressed with the people who stayed up late and got up early to be part of the workshop. And I know the people that were in the room, um, there was a real sense of kind of excitement that they got to play with, again, the same data that the CMS experimentalists are using. Uh, and, it's, and it's kind of really inspiring to see that excitement because sometimes we work with it all day long and we forget, you know, it's amazing. Originally, uh, the, the first workshop that we organized was targeting ex almost exclusively uh, people who were very experienced with uh, open data. Uh, with physics in general, uh, but uh, this time in particular we had almost the whole spectrum of, uh, of participants from high school students actually all the way to professional um, theoreticians who want to use this data for uh, really heavy duty research. We believe that by opening this data, by making this public, um, many more minds can uh, apply their creativity and perhaps uh, uh, reach our goals of understanding the, the universe in a faster way. Uh, hello everyone, this is Agi. I, I'm from Albania and I study physics at Freie Universität Berlin. I don't have the uh, experience with programming and I'm not an expert in informatics but uh, with data um, analysis but uh, what interests me the most was the uh, is the physics behind it, and because I'm so interested in uh, uh, what the data rep represents, it gave me the greatest motivation to learn about how to process it. And this workshop really helped me navigate through it. CMS will be continuing to release more open data in the years ahead. 
Um, this is going to allow us to get more feedback uh, from the community. Uh, we have plans to run this workshop in the future. We're very excited that we can start doing these in-person efforts again. And now we're really leaning into the idea of more creative approaches, more different ideas, more different perspectives of how to use these data. And I think this workshop and the data preservation and open effort that my colleagues have really been championing uh, is a major part of that uh, interaction and development of this creativity. I don't know if it takes so, up any stuff like that. I, I know. Used to I'm pretty good. <laughs> da, da. I learned how to do this. Um, is this workshop free for the people? Do you need to pay anything? This workshop is entirely free to anyone who wants to participate. There is no charge at all.